Bodrum, Turkey has a reputation for being a destination for the world's celebrities and the affluent, but just how expensive is Bodrum, and is it even possible to come here if you are not part of the wealthy elite? Well, we're going to show you in this video that you can. And then later in the video, you'll see our list of pros and cons about visiting or living in Bodrum. Food. All right, we'll take a look at the type of food available in Bodrum, along with food prices, starting with our favorite meal in Bodrum, which was at a restaurant called Sungur Pizza. And yeah, the pizza looked good, but we didn't come for the pizza. We came to this restaurant because it has a dish that is local to Bodrum called Churkertme. It's usually made with sautéed beef, but we got the chicken version. What we loved about it is that the chicken is served on a bed of thin, crispy potatoes. It came with two kinds of Greek yogurt sauce, and it was, by far, our favorite meal in Bodrum. But also the most expensive meal, costing 120 lira or 6 US dollars and 50 cents. The other thing we ordered here at Sungur Pizza, but also got at a few other restaurants around Bodrum, was tavuk shish, or a chicken shish kebab. Doesn't it look good? Yes, it really was as good as it looks. This is a very common food item around Turkey. It's usually served with grilled vegetables, rice or bulgur, and pita type bread. The price here at Sungur Pizza for this was $5. Next, let me show you a restaurant we think you would enjoy called Akyaldaz Karadeniz. And we recommend it because it has delicious home-style cooked food, as you can see here. We ordered kufte, which is a Turkish version of meatballs. And this particular version was served in a butter garlic sauce with carrots, potatoes, and herbs. The price for this dish was $3.50. The restaurant was in a touristy area, but still had reasonable prices. Now, one place we went that is totally not in a touristy area was Torba Cafe Restaurant. It's in the owner's backyard along with the roosters and his pets. And the meat is cooked on his backyard barbecue grill, so it's super fresh and tasty. It was about $2.50 for this huge chicken shish kebab put into a wrap with tomatoes and onions. Next up is the great traditional Turkish breakfast we had with different breads and cheeses and olives and dipping sauces. And our favorite of those was the honey because it is a special honey local to this area that bees make from the sap of pine trees instead of flowers. The entire breakfast was about $4 each for all of this food you see here. And you can get a breakfast like this all around Turkey, not just here in Bodrum. Now our cheapest meal in Bodrum was at Shaw Donor, where we paid just over $1 for a delicious and huge chicken donor sandwich that filled our tummies with pure happiness, and I'm sure it would do the same for you. Activities. Of course, one of the top things to do in Bodrum is to visit the waterfront, the marinas, and the many beaches in the area. Now the beach in Bodrum itself was particularly narrow, not too much room for people. The beach and shoreline along Yashi Beach are a little bit bigger and can accommodate more people compared to Bodrum. And then the beach at Tugrut Reis was our favorite of those that we visited because it was bigger, had more sand and less rocks, and the sunset. Oh, just amazing. Promise me if you come to Bodrum that you won't miss this beach to see the sunset. Now for the tourist activities, the most popular thing is probably the Bodrum Castle and Museum. And it's huge. You could spend several hours exploring all of the different parts of the castle, as we did. The price? About 8 US dollars for the entry fee. Another popular site to visit is the Holocarnassus Mausoleum. Now, as you can see in the video here, there isn't too much remaining of it today, but here's what it looked like in the year 350 BC. So yeah, it deserves its classification as one of the ancient wonders of the world. The entrance fee? Get out your wallet. The entrance tickets were a whopping $1.25 per person. And even cheaper is the Holocarnassus Colosseum, 
which is free, and about a 15 minute walk north of the mausoleum. Even the goats enjoy visiting this Colosseum. And also free is a visit to Mindos Gate. Not too much to see here, but it won't cost you even one single lira. Housing. Let's take a look at some of the housing options and prices. First, if you love it here so much and want to purchase property, the prices, as you can probably guess, are going to depend on the location. If you are on a budget, we suggest a location more inland and away from the water. A neighborhood called Konajik, which is a bit inland and seems like a completely fine town, has 100 square meter apartments starting in the 2.5 million lira range. And of course, when you start looking at bigger homes, you're in the millions of dollars range. Would you want a house this big even if you could afford it? I don't think I would. It's too over the top for me. Let's talk about rental prices next. If renting a 100 square meter apartment on a one year lease, prices start around $500 per month inland and more like $800 closer to the water. But let's say you're a slow traveler and want to stay in an Airbnb apartment for a month. Most Airbnb listings are near the water and are in the one to $2,000 range per month in the off season and roughly double that during the summer. Now let's say you're just here for a holiday and are going to stay in a hotel and let's say you're on a budget. Well, prices we think are quite reasonable. We stayed at Hotel Olivia and Torba, a village just north of Bodrum. We really liked this hotel. Look at the room here. It's huge, don't you think? And the price for this room was only $29 a night, but that was during the low season and the price will more than double if you stay here in the summer. It was about a 15 minute ride from our hotel into Bodrum in a shared minivan taxi called a Dolmush. These would come to the road just outside our hotel quite frequently. You just wave it down when it comes by. The price for the ride into Bodrum was only about 50 US cents per person. Pros and cons. Okay, let's talk about the pros and cons, the things that we personally like about Bodrum and the things we didn't like. One pro, the prices here are reasonable by international standards. Based on our experience here in Bodrum, we think we could comfortably live here long term for something in the 1400 to 1600 US dollar range per month, and that would include an apartment rental, food, transportation, and activities. But the con is that, by Turkish standards, prices are quite high here compared to the rest of the country. Another pro, communication. The people who live here are accustomed to foreigners and English is more widely spoken than other parts of Turkey. Here's another pro, the friendliness of the people. Everyone we interacted with was so nice and even the cats and dogs are friendly to each other as you can see here. Pro, the weather. It does get a little hot in the summer and a little cool in the winter, but oh the sunshine, it is plentiful here. Pro, the small town feel. There aren't many big high rises here. And wandering through the back alleys feels like you're in a village, not a city. Yet the conveniences of a big city are here, like shopping malls and big super center type grocery stores. Okay, here's a con. There can be some traffic jams here. We got stuck in a few when riding around and we were here in the off season. A little bit of the small town charm is lost due to the traffic, we think. Overall, we think the pros far outweigh the cons. We would not hesitate to recommend Bodrum to anyone considering a holiday here or living here long term. Now, for more about our list of pros and cons for living in Turkey in general as a country, check out our video on our channel page. And we've got videos from other locations in Turkey like Antalya, Istanbul, Fethiye and Izmir as well. And we've got more videos from around the world coming soon. So hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out when our new videos are ready. Thanks for traveling with us.